ikhwani. Uh, there are many reasons that for the fitan. But I want to uh, make sure that it's at the time now that Aisha coming, more people having more people coming. Um, I want to address the issue of Palestine. For verily, our heart is with these people who are being killed on a daily basis. Allah al But you see, it's not just because of the strength of the enemies, it's because of the weakness of the Muslims. And as Ibn Saymiyyah, he said, verily, those enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who are fighting the Palestinians, they never won in the history against the Arabs or the Muslims in general, except they have an ally, somebody who is with them. No way they're on their own. And they don't fight face to face from above what they throw. And they're just killing everybody. Allah understand. This total families have been wiped out. Total people, children, nothing. Um, it's not correct to go and tell the people, those there, go and fight. They're not correct, Ikhwani. Because as our Sheikh al used to say, Ayn la tuqabil mikhraz. An eye cannot fight the needle. So there's a needle there, you can't fight with your eye. You're going to poke your eye. And that is a saying well known. You would say to me, well, that if those people left, they don't fight, they would have been killed as well. And I don't think so. There was no killing, and still there's no killing, in the Gaza Strip, sorry, in the West Bank Strip. Palestinian are two states, you know that. One in Gaza, which is very, Gaza, by the way, is really 16 kilometers, I don't know, 42 kilometers by nine kilometers. Very small, 16, I think. The most condensed area in the whole world. Two and a half million in it. Well, it was, I don't know how many now. And as West Bank as well, there's no killing happening there. Nothing. So if the people, Muslims, are in an area, land, they can't really have the power to fight and resist whom occupying them, then it's not the time for them to go and fight. Because this will escalate the issue and make more killing. One, for example, Jewish will be killed, against him will be 10. One for 10. I mean, that's not called Tufan al-Aqsa. Tufan means like the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the volcano that's coming to go on. It's not a volcano, it's a disaster. We have to come to terms to say that. It's not correct. A person should, first of all, ask those people who are supporting what is happening there to tell them, what are you doing? If, it's, if there was cats there being exterminated, you would have standed up. How could you exterminate cats? But they're a human being. So write to your MP. Um, make dua. I don't know if they do make dua here. Qunut al-Nawazil. Qunut al-Nawazil should be, to be said by the, this, this, the Imam. And five daily prayers as much as he can. Maybe Allah will respond to the dua of those people. And will help them. Also, if it's available to go and help them financially, there's money they can arrive and give them money. I mean, I don't think these people need money now. They need what? They need support. They need support. And those people who are running the show, they should as well fear Allah. It's not really correct. This is not jihad, Ikhwani. To go and throw something and then hide. See, the Muslims, when they used to assassination, like for example, the time of the Prophet of Allah. Man li bi Ka'b al Man li was for the... Um, Ibn Abi al-Huqayq. Who's going to kill me for Ibn Abi al-Huqayq? The person is no good. So you find, for example, Muhammad ibn Maslam went there to the, where they are. He killed him and he came back and he was showing, I'm here. Not hiding himself in there. You know, so the, the other would come and kill everybody because he had killed. No. He went there because he got a, a, an Islamic state to, you know, there. So he killed and came back. Because the Prophet only said, this guy, he was talking... But these people what? They, they do this and then they go and run behind the mesquin people. And then maybe they are more secured and they need the ground. And those people are on the ground. They are being what? Harvested. Is this you call it jihad, ikhwan? This is, this is just emotion. That's not right. Wallahi, it's not correct. It's not right for those to kill and to start killing so that the killing will be going to the other side. Because maybe the other side is waiting for reason for them to do that. It could be like you know, another scenario, okay? It's been woven. Uh, it's like a story. Allah al 
But people do not learn, Yaqwan. Wallahi, they don't learn. You think that when I say this, I am lining up with the enemies? No, <laughs> Wallahi, I'm a Palestinian myself. But I'm just saying that this is not the way, Yaqwani, forward. We ask Allah subhanahu to protect them. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make their enemy to be defeated. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make fiqh to the ummah. That's why the knowledge is important. Our Shaykh Ibn Baz, whenever he used to make the dua al qunut in Tarawih Ramadan, he used to say all the time, he just listen to him, Allahumma faqih alayhi al-umma fi deenia. Allahumma faqih alayhi al-umma fi deenia. Oh Lord, give this ummah understanding in their religion. Because if they have the fiqh, nothing of this will happen. Just that they understand the deen properly. Because if you don't understand people properly, that is chaos taking place. Quran, knowledge is very important. Knowledge is very important. Knowledge in the deen. Man yuridillahu bi khaira, faqih wa deen. If Allah intends good to you, he'll give you understanding in the religion. But if Allah does not want good to you, you start thinking with emotion. What is this person talking about? Quran jihad. Two people approached me after a lecture said, we were going to fight. MashaAllah. That means you want to kill yourself. That's what it is. You're going to find you're going to be burdened for these people. If the people want to help them, the one is like a trained army from a Muslim country. That's the one who helped them. See, there's a, planes are shooting down and there's not a single cannon to go on uh, missile, which is aircraft missiles, anti-missile, anti-aircraft. There's not a single one is being fired. What is this fight? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, it's just harvesting, harvesting. Carpet bomb, they call it. And the people, they're saying, well, which are Tufan al-Aqsa. What? Tufan al these are uh, emotions, wallahi. And I'm saying this, and I know that some people don't like this. I go, you see, he's sitting here and watching TV. Yeah, jihad, go then. You're doing nothing. Actually, you make jihad of yourself first. Look at your house. Ask your wife and ask your children. Okay? You're doing nothing. You're just chanting for nothing on the expense of the blood of these people. You're not even there to watch and witness what is happening. You're bringing me a story of a mother. She's looking, she was shaheed, and she's happy, you know. And you see, this is the people, not, not every people are like that. You're making a story on this. And I would watch, uh, tell you, brothers, the amount you spend on watching media, just spend it on listening to lectures of scholars. You will be well like, good, mashallah. Just spend time, but the problem is who's a scholar you're going to listen to. Well, if you don't know, listen to the ones who are the old clan, huh? the old geezers. The one who, huh? Ibn Taymiyyah. You can't, you can't hear Ibn Taymiyyah on the video, I don't know, you can't hear. But there's followers of that. Sheikh Ibn Baz, Sheikh Al Albani, Sheikh Al These are the, these are the old geezers. Now they died, because there's no fitna on them, they died. Listen to them, the amount, if you listen to them, the amount that you, look, you watch on, from BBC to Al Jazeera, Sheikh Jazeera, Sheikh BBC, Sheikh Al Arabiya, Sheikh CNN. How many Sheikhs do you listen to? Uh, count. Just some of these Sheikhs, you swap them to Sheikh Ibn Baz, Sheikh Al Albani, Sheikh Al Albani, and I'm sure that you will be, inshallah. Equipped with enough knowledge to know what to do. Allahu al-musta'an, ya ikhwani. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, before that, Allah azza wa jal, he said, in tansurullah, yansurku. Wa yuthabbit, aqdar. That's a, it's called a universal law. And this is only for the believers, not for the disbelievers. Just like the sun sets from the west and rises from the east, this universal law, if you champion Allah's cause, Allah will champion you and he will make your foot stand to be firm only for the believers. So if you champion the cause of Allah, Allah will what? Champion you. And he will make your foot stand firm. So the opposite, if you don't champion Allah, Allah will not champion you, will not help you. And he will not make your foot stand firm. Prophet Sallallahu he said, Ya ma'ashara al-muhajirin, O assembly of muhajirun, khams, five things, Five things is you to be struck with them. And I ask Allah that God forbid to live to see them. Those five things. So what are these five things? If the fahisha Fornication has become prevalent. And the people say, it's not quite, no problem. Fahish has become like this. Now the Fahish, you talk about it, nothing. If you talk against it, it will be something. It will be something if you talk against it. The Fahish. And Allah's Messenger, he had said, if the Fahish had become prevalent, they made the Iqab, the punishment of Allah to be what? Justified. قَدْ أَحَلُّوا بِقَوْمِهِمْ الْهَلَاكِ 
Yes. So Allah, he said, that he will strike you with diseases which will never been heard in the ones in the past. True or not? Disease after the disease. Disease after the disease coming out. Huh? Subhanallah. Every time you find a new disease because of these things happening. قال ولم ينقص المكال والميزان حتى أخذ بالسنين وجور السلطان وقلة المؤونة. That if these people do not be just in their giving the weight, the right weight, so they don't give that, then Allah Azza wa Jal will strike them with three things: tyrant leader and drought and few sources of food that have lack of food. قال ولم يمنع قوم زكاة أموالهم قط إلا منع القطر من السماء ولولا البهائم لم تمطروا third thing here that the Prophet he said that the any people prevent to give their zakah uh, the Muslim giving the zakah Allah will make the rain to not to come to them drought but maybe rain will come down but not because of you because of the what? the animals animals is there and that's why Abdullah ibn Abbas, he said regarding the verse on the day of resurrection, the now that the people will be cursed, called the cursor will be cursing them. He said the animals cursing human being, saying, Oh Lord, may Allah curse them. We have been prevented the rain because of their sins. Because the human sins will be prevented the rain. May Allah curse them. And then he said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa وَمَا لَمْ تَحْكُمْ أَئِمَّتُهُمْ بِكِتَابِ اللَّهِ وَلَمْ يَنْقُضُ عَهْدَ اللَّهِ وَعَهْدَ رَسُولِهِ إِلَّا سَلَّطَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ عَدُوًّا مِّنْ غَيْرِهِمْ فَأَخَذَ بَعْضَ مَا فِي أَيْدِهِمْ And if they to break their word and covenant to Allah and His Messenger, meaning they don't obey Allah and His Messenger, that Allah Azza wa Jal will, I say it all one, I'm going to finish inshallah, Allah Azza wa Jal will impose upon them an enemy from outside and he will take some of what they have. Whatever it's a land or anything will be taken away from him then because of this. And also the last one that their imams is to rule by the laws of Allah and choose from the sunnah of the Prophet of Allah. Otherwise Allah Azza wa Jal will put our conflicts between each other. إِلَّا جَعَلَ بَأْسَهُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ and this is the conflict between us now. Muslims.